In Fisher vs. Bell, the defendant displayed a flick knife in the window of his shop next to a ticket bearing words, Ejector Knife 4S, under the Restriction of Offensive Weapons Act 1959, Section 1, Subsection 1. It was illegal to manufacture, sell, hire, or offer for sale or hire, or lend to any other person, amongst other things, any knife which has a blade which opens automatically by hand pressure applied to a button spring or other device in or attached to the handle of the knife. On 14 December 1959, the claimant, a chief inspector of police force, brought forward the information against the defendant alleging the defendant has contravened section 1 subsection 1 by offering the flick knife for sale. This loophole was closed by Restriction of Offensive Weapons Act 1961, ban on flick knives, which inserted after the words offer for sale or hire the words or exposes or has in possession for the purpose of sale or hire at first instance the prosecutor submitted that the defendant has displayed the knife and ticket in the window with the object of attracting a buyer and that this constituted an offer of sale sufficient to create a criminal liability under section 1 subsection 1 of the act the defendant submitted that this was not sufficient to constitute an offer. The judges at first instance found that displaying the knife was merely an invitation to treat and not an offer, and thus no liability arose. The prosecutor appealed to the judge's decision. Court of Appeal upheld that, although the display of a knife in a window might at first appear to lay people to be an offer inviting people to buy it, and that it would be nonsense to say that it was not offering it for sale. Whether an item is offered for the purpose of the statute in question must be construed in the context of general law of the country.